Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel on this beautiful day. How you guys and girls doing? Hope you're doing great as always. Uh, please check out the description box, all the nice links. Also, drop a like, subscribe if you like the content. Um, today, I want to talk to you guys a little bit in the beginning here. I know you want to see all the good stuff, but we need to talk. See, there is, you know, I'm GUI. Uh, I want to use that, but I'm feeling it's a good practice to be able to make your own GUI elements, just like button and uh, drop down boxes and stuff like that. So I'm feeling we're probably going to do that and just in order to just get some experience learning, just thinking about how you can make these things and how you can implement them. Um, because we're going to be making the uh, the editor state and the uh, what do you call it? The setting state, which we did make. Uh, we're just going to be filling these out and then we're probably going to need some kind of a drop down box, buttons, uh, text fields, stuff like that. And we want to know how to do that in SFML, right? So pretty much uh, what we're going to do is, uh, why is that? What is that? Okay. Pretty much what we're going to do is we're going to make a little GUI, uh, GUI namespace basically. And we're going to add something called a drop down box. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you this. We're going to make a namespace and I'm just going to call it GUI and it's our own little namespace. And basically that means you can define several of these button classes, but <clears throat> if it's within a namespace, we're going to have to write GUI colon colon button, just like STD and stuff like that. So this is our own little um, uh, namespace. Okay, but what happens now is that this, all of these things, is going to need the GUI in front of it, GUI button, see? And that's going to be a pain, but, or you can do using namespace GUI, but I'm just going to do this, put that in front of all of these button um, functions and stuff. It doesn't really matter, see? I mean, it's not that many, so just make sure wherever it's red, wherever you have a definition, this header here, just put the GUI colon colon in front. Um, it's just like SF, you know, when you do SF colon colon. You know what we could do? I'm sorry about that. Uh, I'm so dumb. Just do GUI in small letters, okay? I'm sorry. GUI. And just do that. Just do that. You know, and that should be fine. It's a little easier to write. Otherwise, if you have capitals, it's a little hard sometimes to, to write that. But there you go. Okay, so we got GUI button. Now, if we go in our states, which use buttons, for example, uh, this, then we're going to have to do GUI colon colon button here because this is using buttons, editor state. Okay. Then what else uses buttons? Not this main menu state uses buttons. So GUI colon colon buttons here. It's not that hard. See, we don't have that many different things that have buttons in them. See? So we're pretty much, we're pretty good, pretty good. Um, and the file's name is still button, but I'm going to create different classes in here, all kinds of GUI classes. And you're going to be like, oh, that's, that's all nasty. I want to have it all in different classes and stuff. But if I have one GUI file, it, it makes life a little easier in that way that you basically, you, you could define several CPP CPPs basically and just include that in there and then and then define those but you can have one header file with a lot of different classes and then you could just do this if you think it's, it's all nasty and and cluttered so I'm just gonna do class drop down box like that and I'm pretty much going to copy the button or am I no you know what I'm not gonna do that I'm just going to do the update on the render right there and close that so we're gonna have the private private and the public now we won't be able to do everything in this video but we're gonna need this drop down box in order to choose uh, choose sprites choose uh, different types of what do you call it um, things you know just different types of resolutions to pick from and settings and everything and it's it's fun you know making these GUI elements on your own um, and it's pretty good so there you go that is your button.h 
what we could do is we could actually rename this to GUI uh, class let's see what happens if we just rename it to GUI this is my own little GUI library basically you could make a library out of this if you wanted to just compile it pre-compile like that so we can do that later as well where is rename I just had it here oh there we go GUI.h okay and we're gonna have to switch some stuff up uh, GUI.h change this to GUI underscore h GUI underscore h and then GUI.h right here don't forget that um, and then you got of course button and anything else that you would like to have now we got to switch this up so wherever there is a GUI.h I'm pretty sure I know wherever it's, it's only in the states where we include it so it's not that hard you're gonna editor state.h game state.h uh, main menu state.h you're gonna see it so GUI.h right here um, setting state you're gonna see it so GUI.h and state you're gonna see that right there so there you go pretty much pretty much no 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 special no big problems here so we're just gonna compile this and try to run it hopefully in the RPG it changed name as well GUI yep it did so we're good we're good just do that if you're having problems just remove the button class copy everything from them into a new file cpp and h file that are named GUI h and cpp just copy everything over from the buttons and then just go ahead and uh, and what do you call it go ahead and uh, yeah rename that remove the button button files so the problem here is we when we initialize the buttons we're gonna have to go into all of these states just really quickly wherever we do the new button thing new GUI button button so we'll be able to make our own little GUI class basically and that's gonna look look pretty awesome don't you think I like it and it's gonna make it so that it's our own you know we can customize it we can add things to it we can do a bunch of things uh, so we just have to run this and kind of keep checking wherever whoops wherever we're having problems with the includes and stuff uh, and we just kind of double click on all of these just see wherever there are problems uh, pause menu I think was the last one uh, button undeclared identifier so pause menu dot h as well again GUI GUI I know this is kind of going fast but I just want to make sure I fix all of these run it again so there was a bunch of things in pause menu dot h and cpp where you can add the GUI in front of buttons and it will tell you where it's missing so you can just go through the debug thing and and kind of find that uh, like here let's see get buttons pause menu dot cpp mm, returns that new button right here in the add button uh, GUI button right there pause menu add buttons okay let's try again sometimes you got to do these things it's just really annoying but you know why not why not so there you go now it should work now it shouldn't be any problems new game working quit editor escape quit so there you go guys and girls pretty much go into pause menu h and look for all the buttons change it just add the GUI before those go into the CPP find all the buttons just control F buttons like that button and then you just go through all of those and add GUI in front of those I'm sure you'll be able to do that you know because you're gonna have to do this sometimes you're gonna make something and then you're gonna change the name and then you're gonna have to redo it and for that you might have to learn how to use that basically and a lot of you probably do so it's no big deal so you go so I'm sorry if it was a little fast but I'm sure you can manage just search for button in all of these states and there aren't too many of them so so you're fine so let's go back to our GUI.h close all but this open the GUI CPP and now we're pretty much done with at least the GUI class 
uh, right here. So button, minimize that. Now we're at the drop down box. And in a few minutes, we're just going to define this, the update and the render. Okay. And the thing is, we're going to have a drop down box. And what does that mean? Let me just show you. Let's just paint something out. So my idea is this. We're going to have a little drop down box with a little button. Uh, maybe or maybe some kind of initial value and you'll click it and then you'll see all the other values beneath those like this some like that and then you'll be able to click these and that will become the first value you'll just switch those hmm and that will be the active value so how is that gonna work hmm or I think this will be the selected the one that is being shown from the list, what is active, but that same value will still be in here in the top. For example, if you have 1920, so let me see, 1920, let's just give it a random number. The 1920 will be up here as well, and then uh, maybe 800, 640, and so on, so on. So that value will be here, it's just that this is showing what is selected out of all these values. So we're going to have to have that as a um as a nice little little box so sf rectangle shape um active uh, drop down it's a drop down box drop down list drop down list just call it drop down list hmm because I'll call this active element as well. Let's see. Come on, come on. Piece of shit. Come on, thank you. Okay, uh, we don't have to change anything here. So, uh, or do we at the bottom here? Drop down, here are all the drop down things. Drop down list. List, and you just Add something like that just to separate those two. And we're just going to say drop down list here. Like that. Change my mind. You know, I want a list. And the same thing here. So drop down list. Uh, GUI. Oh, wait. GUI drop down list. Drop down list. Okay. Active element. And then a STD vector vector of sf rectangle shape uh, std vector so we're gonna have to include vector here include vector so we're gonna have a vector of vector of rectangle shapes should be a big v i think um are you serious elements or just list like that yeah it's a vector okay it should be fine uh, and then we have the list of uh, rectangle shapes and then we're gonna need a f sf font reference font and this is actually gonna be a hmm I would like I would like to use buttons in here hmm okay because each of these needs text in them okay okay all right, we're going to have to work on this in the next one because I might make a button GUI button list here. Yeah, just do that. GUI button list and then a pointer because we're going to add new buttons to this list. 
and yeah then we'll be able to click on those as well so you go guys and girls sorry for the long really slow weird video i didn't really like this video that much but there was no other way than to change all the names please just pause the video check out all these small things which file it is which function is where i'm changing it Control f to find all the buttons and add the gui after them and then drop down list is the new class we're going to be working with and playing around with so there you go guys and girls Thank you so much for watching. Check out the description box. Drop a like, subscribe. If you like the content, I understand if you didn't like this video that much because I was kind of meh, but still, <laughs> thanks so much. Take care, and I'll see you guys and girls in the next one, all right? Bye-bye.